Hi, I'm Chris McCain at Discovery Center, and this week I am going to be showing you a Science Center classic, Bouncing, Bouncing slime. slime! So this week we're making Bouncing Slime. You're only going to need a couple of things, and you probably have at least one of them in your home already. And that is, we're going to be combining white glue with borax, and we're going to be turning it into this weird slime that'll be solid enough to bounce. The first step is to take some borax, that's just a white powder, generally we use it as an additive in a laundry. Technically speaking, this is called sodium borate, and all we're going to do is dissolve enough of that in water that it stops dissolving. This is called a saturated solution. The main thing is just to keep mixing it until it mostly dissolves, but some of it's left in the bottom. So, I've got this extremely, extremely saturated solution of borax. And I need to add that to glue. I'm going to use lots and lots of glue. The key here is that you use as much glue as you want to have slime. So, I want lots. Lots of slime. And once that's poured out, so you want to use a container of some kind that you don't mind getting a little bit sticky. Although, usually it comes out pretty clean. This is a good time to add dye. So, we'll make our slime blue. And then I'm going to quickly mix that in. I feel like I'm on a cooking show. And then you add just enough of this borax solution to cover your glue. Now you can start stirring at the beginning. Works okay. Very, very, very quickly, you're gonna end up with a lump. And this is why it's fun. Because you have to squish and knead your slime so that all of the glue comes into contact with this borax solution. Now, Glue is made from a chemical called PVA, and that is nice, long strands of chemical. What the borax will do is take all those strands and kind of stick them together, like you're weaving a mat or a blanket or something like that. Those are called cross-linking. So you end up with, instead of long strands of chemical, you get a huge sheet at the microscopic level. And the end result is, instead of glue, you have goo. And it bounces. So, watch this. Bouncing slime. So this is something else you can do. You can use pretty much anything for a dye. I used fluorescein, which is another dye that will glow under a black light. Seem a little spot, so I've got all kinds of streaks and specks of fluorescein in here. And you can see it glowing from inside of our slime, which is just awesome. 